Welcome to part 3 of Let's Build a Thermal Power Plant in Minecraft. In part 2 of this series, we made the base and the machines that you are seeing behind me right now. So in this video, we are going to connect the entire setup using conveyor belts so that we can convert a cobblestone into solid fuel. Now if you haven't seen part 2 of this series, I highly recommend you do that, otherwise this video won't make much sense. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Alright, so here's a list of all the conveyor belts that you are gonna need. Now I am using the covered variants of the belts, you can use normal conveyor belts if you want to. And the splitting conveyor belt doesn't have a covered variant. You will also need an inserter from Magnetic Craft and item router from Immersive Engineering. So start by placing a splitting conveyor belt between the two grinders like this. That will leave a one block gap on both of these sides. And in this gap, we are gonna place down four vertical conveyor belts going all the way up to the grinders. Now do the exact same thing for the other two sides as well. So this takes care of the middle pair of grinders, do the same for the left and the right pair of grinders and once that's done, it is going to look something like this. Alright, now it's time to place down some iron crates or chests on top of these vertical conveyor belts so that the cobblestone can be deposited directly into them. And now take your inserters and shift right click in order to place the inserter facing the crate and do that for all the other crates as well. So once all of the inserters are placed, they will deposit the cobblestone into the grinders. Now with that done, let's take care of the input. So this chest is going to be our input here. So place down three extracting conveyor belts coming out from it like this. Now once you have placed three extracting conveyor belts, dig out a 5x5 five five area like this. We are going to make a redstone control system so that only when flicking the lever, the cobblestone will be exited from the chest. So break out all of the blocks except for the ones that are below or below the conveyor belts that is. And dig out one deep and this time take out all of the blocks. There we go. Now simply place down three blocks, any blocks of your choice with a redstone torch going directly to the top block like this. So right now the conveyor belts are in basically extracting mode. If you place down any item in the chest, it will be extracted out using the conveyor belts. Now once you place the redstone torches, which will provide a direct redstone signal, the belts will not extract anymore. So now as you can see, the item is not being extracted. So now we have placed the torch, just connect them all using redstone wire like this. And there we go. So now if I place down a lever which is directly on top of the redstone, so take out like three blocks from the conveyor belt and place down a lever and if you flick the lever you will see that all of the torches turn off and the chest will start extracting again or the conveyor belts will start extracting again. Now simply fill up the hole that you made and from there we can proceed to the next step. So the next step is going to be making the extraction system itself. So place down two normal conveyor belts and one splitting conveyor belt and do that on all three of the sides. So two normal belts and one splitting belt. Now here it is important to know in what situation the belts will connect. So as you can see here, if you want to change the direction, the belt should be going into the direction that you want it to go so for example the item will not go in the front right now but if i place it like this only then will the belts connect so it's important to know how the belts connect and work so once you know this simply start from the middle conveyor line and make a pattern like this which goes directly into the middle conveyor belt so extend by placing three more conveyor belts and there we go we have extended a line which goes all the way and turns around to go into the middle conveyor belt. Now do the same on the other side, only this time we will need to raise it by one. So bring it, bring it out in a similar fashion and then place down one more conveyor belt and for this step we are going to need the engineer's hammer. 
So place down the belt and then with the engineer's hammer shift right click in order to raise the belt up in a sloped manner like this. Now you can start taking the belts from it and as you can see they have already connected. So extend the line which goes to the second splitting conveyor belt that we have along the line here. And now we need to slope it up once again. So place down two conveyor belts like this, then one more in middle and with the engineer's hammer shift right click two times to slope it up and connect it on. So now we have two lines of conveyor belts which are going into the two pieces of splitting conveyor belts that we placed between the grinders. So with this done, now let's take care of one of the sides. And the other side you can do in a similar manner. So this time the process is also the same, just you are gonna have to extend the entire conveyor line a little bit longer. So first things first, the inner line will come up to the first splitting conveyor belt and the outer line will go up to the second splitting conveyor belt. There we go. Now the reason for using the covered belts was so that you can walk around freely in this entire system and no cobblestone will basically pop into your inventory. So place uh, with the engineer's hammer, connect it like this and do the other side, the opposite side in a similar manner and it should look something like this. Pretty cool right? So with this the output system is completely done and we have also made the redstone system. Now it's time to take care of the output. So the output of the grinders is gonna come out from behind like this. So start by placing 7 conveyor belts going in the direction of the crusher. As the output is going to go into the crusher and at the end of it place down an item router. So we have a total of 7 conveyor belts with an item router placed at the end of it. So do the same thing for all of the other grinders as well. Now this part can get a bit confusing that's why I am not going to skip the footage instead I am simply going to fast forward. And remember with conveyor belts direction matters and with the covered conveyor belts it's hard to see sometimes. Now the, now the item router will have color coding on all of its side. So the front side basically which is facing the crusher place down a block of sand in it so that sand blocks can only come out on the front side. Now for you this color coding might be different depending on the direction you are building it in. So basically place down sand blocks in the direction which is facing the crushers. For me it's the south direction which is blue. So now for the gravel we are going to take out the side path two pieces of conveyor like this then turning it up to go into the crusher place down two more belts and then with vertical conveyor belts bring it up all the way to the crusher. So what this will do is basically take out the sand in the front and gravel to the side. And basically place down two conveyor belts going into the crusher like this. And do the same thing for the other side or the other conveyor belt. And once you do that, repeat the same thing for all of the crushers like this. There we go, looking pretty uniform. Now we are gonna take out the path for our sand. So bring out lines of conveyor belt like this and stop once you are in line of the basically the shredder that we placed before. So stop and don't place any conveyor as we want to change our directions here. So repeat the same process for all of the other sand outputs. The gravel is going to go into the crusher and produce sand and the sand from the grinder is going to be sand anyways. So that's that. Now you are gonna do this process for every other line except the middle conveyor line or the middle crusher line. Don't place any conveyor belts there. There we go. Now for the middle crushers both of them start down by placing only two conveyor belts so that that will leave a three block gap between we come to the shredder now do the same thing for all of the other lines as well 
basically extend a line which is going directly to the shredder and just stop before three blocks. There we go. So now we have a three block gap on each and every side and we can take our conveyor lines up. So first things first, place down a dropping conveyor belt on top of the hopper going in the front direction and then start by placing down a simple conveyor with shift right click to raise it up then shift right click and place down another conveyor belt on the hopper that will automatically place a conveyor in the slope direction like this and finally place down a third conveyor belt so it will all line up perfectly and go into the dropping conveyor belt pretty cool right and simply a third one which will automatically align itself. There we go. And with this, all of the output is now gonna go into the hopper and then into the shredder. In order to stop the items from falling out, simply place down a block like this. And with this, we are done with the entire conveyor system. Now simply place down a battery block and some blades in the shredder. I'm going to use dash blades and we are now ready to actually test this system so in order to start i am going to place down a stack of cobblestone in there and then flick the lever and as you can see cobblestone will start splitting into six equal parts now from here the cobblestone will travel down the top and the bottom path and end up in all of the grinders that we have here I love when this entire thing functions. It looks amazing. Now the sand from the basically grinders, it is going to travel straight and the gravel that we are producing is going to end up in the crushers. So the sand will end up directly in the shredder. The gravel will end up in the crushers. The crusher will convert the gravel into sand and that sand will once again end up in the shredder. So every block of sand that we are going to produce is going to end up in the shredder which will then convert it into dust. Dust will end up in the factorizer where it will be compressed and converted into block of scrap. So I'm going to fast forward this entire process so you can see the amount of block of scraps that we get. And we got 16 block of scraps from an entire stack of cobblestone. Now it might not look much, but this entire stack is going to last for a long, long time. So if I place down a boiler and this boiler is from industrial renewal and then i place down a block of scrap in there you will see that it accepts it and the temperature will start going up this is the same boiler that we are going to use in our series actually and by the way this also works for all of the furnaces and vanilla machines so i hope you guys like this video if you did do smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more content please let me know what do you think of this series so far peace out my guys stay safe